my name is Janine Gardner, and I'm one of your trainers at RealCom. Today, I'm going to walk you through a tutorial of how to set up SkySlope forms so that you have the best experience when using the system. Let's go ahead and begin. You'll first notice when you log in that there are two different views for all of your form choices and all of your file choices. The first view that you see when you log in is the grid view, but you have the opportunity to go into the upper right hand corner, click on view as list and look at all of your files as a list form here if you choose to. You also have the opportunity to click on filter by and look at just the buyer forms, just the seller forms, any landlord or tenant ones that you may have. If you choose to look at all of them, you can change it to that representation as well. I'm going to go up to the top where I also can search for any of my files. So if I start typing in even just the address or even any words associated with the file, that will pull it up as well that I can utilize it. I'm going to go ahead and click on close search. Below that, you'll see that I can have all of my files or I can look at my archive files as well. So now that you know the layout of how to work your files or and where they're stored, let's go ahead and take the time to set up your user information. Look at the library so that you can choose the forms you want to put in those templates that you will need to set up. Clauses if you need them. Teams set up if you have teams in your office and the preferences that you might want to use when it comes to your e-signature. I'm gonna scroll back up to the very top, move all the way over to the far right-hand corner with my initials, click that drop down, and we'll simply click on user profile. This is important that you plug in your information as well so that you can sign the documents that will be needed. Your office will already have their information in as well. And you simply scroll to the bottom and click on save. Next, we'll talk about my team. If I click on my team, for those of you that do have teams in the office, it'll be very easy to set up your account with your team members. You type in your email address and for each person that's part of your team, you'll click plus add email, add their name in as well to make up a team setting so that you can easily share documents among each other. If I scroll back up to the top, let's choose library. This is where all of your forms and documents will be so that you can set up your templates or you can choose them individually. So I'll click the down arrow where it says search for library and you will be able to see where all of those documents come from. Lastly, if I scroll back up to the top, it'll say preferences. SkySlope Forms gives you two options. Their built-in e-signature system is called DigiSign. If I click the down arrow, those of you that use DocuSign have the option to utilize that as well. Scrolling back up to the top, let's talk about setting up your templates. I'm gonna click on templates at the top, very top here. Whether you are the broker, the office admin, or the agent, setting up and creating templates is easy and it's all the same task. I'm going to click on plus create template. You get to choose what type of template you'd like to create, whether it be for the buyer, the seller, landlord, tenant, or any other that you might use such as short sales foreclosures. I'm gonna go ahead and click on seller and click next. You simply add in the name of the template you're using. I'll call this residential seller forms. Is this for the brokerage so that everyone in your office will have those forms, especially if you are the broker or the office assistant, you can say yes, but if they're your personal and your broker allows to, you can say no. And we'll click on continue. And you can pick 
several different ways to choose your forms to make your template. Number one, let's talk about what's there first. So I'll click on all libraries. And again, you'll see all the options you have to pull forms from. So you'll see that I have Michigan Association of Realtors. I have Real Comp. You will have your board there and you will have your office there if your office forms are there. So you also have the ability to search for a particular form as well. I'm going to click all libraries and click on Real Comp. And since I have a plethora of forms and I need a certain one, I'm going to click on search, type it in. And I'm going to find that form here. It will come up for me. Now, if I want to see the form before I add it into my template, all I have to do is click right on the wording. It will come up for me, and I can double check to make sure that this is, in fact, the form that I need. I also have the ability, if I just need a blank form, I can download it or I can print it. But this is the form I need to add into my template. So I'm simply going to click on uh, plus add. And down at the bottom, I'll click continue. I'll go back down to add forms. And I'll either search for the form that I need, or I can, again, scroll right on down and choose the form that I would like to use in my template. And I'll click the plus add for that and add that right in. And choose continue. When I have the forms that I need, I I can upload the documents from my office if I have any additional forms that are not part of my library that I'd like to add in. I can choose upload documents. If I'm missing another form and I look and go, oh, I think I may want to add that in, I'll click on add forms. And again, I can search for it. Or again, I can simply scroll on down and find the form that I need to add in. And we'll choose plus add and click continue. I also have the opportunity to organize the forms. So if I take my mouse and I hover over the lines here, I'll click, hold, and organize them the way that I want them to go, the flow that I would like to have to fill them out and maybe send them out as well. Once I'm done setting up my template, I'll click Save Template. And if it was a personal one, you'll see it here at the top. If my office set this up, you'll also see brokerage templates down at the bottom. And I can make as many templates as need be. If I need to edit the template at any time, very easy to do. Click on the three dots of the template. I can click edit, I can add forms, I can remove forms, okay? I can look at the details, Duplicate it if I need to, maybe change one or two things, change the name. The template type, is it for the seller? Is it for the broker? Landlord, I may have mislabeled it and I can change it there. Or if I need to delete it all together, I can do so. Let's also talk about setting up clauses if need be. So I'll click on clauses at the top here. Are they my personal clauses? Are they the broker clauses? Can I search for clauses if I click here and have several? If I need to create a clause for any reason, I can click on the plus add new clause here. Again, is it for the brokerage or is it my clause? So I, I'm going to say no to this and click continue and I will set up the title. What type of category it, will it be? And then I can simply type in or copy or paste if you have the clause on another page that you'd like to add in. And scroll down and click on Create. 
And that is how you make your clauses if you needed them. Lastly, let's talk about getting additional help. Very easy to follow. You can click on help. Great documentation they have, but Real Comp is also here to help you. And then lastly, we have the app. If I click on apps, very important that you download SkySlope to your mobile devices. Download it to your phone, download it to your iPad. Simply go into the Google Play or go into your iTunes apps, download SkySlope, and you can sign in as you normally do. And you will have the same options that you have on the desktop as you have on your mobile devices. So I want to thank you so much for joining us for the simple setup of SkySlope. Join us for the full SkySlope class where you'll learn how to create actual files using your templates or using individual documents and sending those out in an e-signature or if you need to download the documents or print the documents for each of your individual customers. I'll see you soon in that class.